Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the 25 Days of Linux, the video series in which I'm attempting to make a video every single day for the month of December. I put Christmas lights up. So today we're gonna make another script. I don't know if these scripts are very interesting or useful to anyone else, but I really like making them and they're super handy. They make my job a lot easier as far as I have a job that involves making videos. So here's what I want. <laughs> this seems so stupid, but what I want is a script that is basically just gonna give me the link to a thumbnail for a YouTube video. And it's the kind of thing that only somebody who makes YouTube videos would want. But if you make any kind of YouTube videos, you know there's a lot of reasons why you might want a link to a thumbnail, but it's sort of weird. The way that YouTube thumbnails work, if I were to go to uh, studio.youtube.com, take a little glimpse into my uh, YouTube studio here. Uh, these are all of my videos, uh, including the ones that aren't public yet. Uh, but you see, if I come into edit, uh, YouTube actually does give you the option to to download a thumbnail. But what you'll see if you go to download it is it's basically just a URL that it's linking into where you can download it. And it's like, it's uh, it's always the same thing. Max res default dot JPEG and download the, the thumbnail and you're good to go. So what we should be able to do is basically take input in the form of a YouTube link or a video ID and then build a script that will generate us a link to the thumbnail so that we can download it or I don't really want it to actually download the thumbnail and store it anywhere. That would be kind of weird, but we can uh, get the thumbnail at least. So I guess the best way for uh, this to work is I'm going to use the video ID as the input for the script. If you're not familiar with the video ID, as an example here, this is my uh, one of my most recent and uploads. This is a video about uh, the well that was going to be about XBPS source, but didn't end up being about that. And basically, if I were to copy the video URL, when I come and try to paste it into a terminal, this last bit here, GE zero UC GM A Z H four is the video ID. This never changes. It's assigned to your video actually while you're uploading it. You can get the video ID before the video is even done uploading, before it's done processing, anything like that. And it's sort of the best universal identifier for a piece of content on YouTube. So I think it's the best thing to use as an input for this script. But before we can talk about any of that, what we need to talk about is uh, how you create a script. So I've talked about this a few times before. If I go into my Zish RC, basically what I have here is a nice little line right here that you can add to the um, the config for any uh, shell that you use, bash, Zish, fish, whatever. It's probably a little different in fish, but basically it's path equals dollar sign path colon home slash scripts. And what this is doing, is it's letting me take any script that is in slash scripts and then run it basically as if it's a program. So what we can now do is create a new script and uh, let's call this a uh, thumbnail or we'll call it thumb. Why not? Uh, so now we have a new file called thumb. What we'll go ahead and do is go into that script. Uh, I'm going to use vim or NeoVim to do it, uh, but obviously use whatever program you like. The next thing you need to do is create a shebang. Uh, this is the most universal way that I found to do it. All this is doing is linking to the bash program on your system. And I'll put a little bit of content down there, why not? Uh, we can go ahead and quit out of that out of them. And what I want to do now is run chmod plus x on the new script that we just created. This is going to make it executable so that when we try to run the script, it will actually do something. And then before we jump back into the scripts, I want to install one thing that I know we're going to need. And it's a program called xclip that I've used a couple of times before. Uh, so what I'll do is I'm going to run pack or uh, sudo pacman dash s and install xclip. Uh, obviously, I'm using Arch here. If you're using Ubuntu, it would be sudo apt and install xclip you're using yay i think it's some form of install something like that the syntax is different but you know it's it's package managers i assume you know how to use whatever package manager is on your system uh so once we have xclip installed we can actually go back into that thumbnail file and uh, we're ready to start to build the script but before we can do any, any of that, we need to talk about how linking actually works on YouTube. Uh, so this is the link that it gives us. And if we were to just take this link, of course, and drop it into any browser, obviously is gonna pull up that YouTube thumbnail. So let's take a slightly closer look at the um, link here. And you can see it's actually sort of putting the video ID, the important part, kind of right dead in the center of the link. And you can see here, actually, if I wanted to just swap that out, 
I'm now loading uh, a different thumbnail. So you probably have a decent idea of how this is gonna work now. Essentially what I'm, what I'm gonna do is just split this up into a few different pieces. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to separate the max res default. Uh, actually we need to separate it with that slash right there and uh then we'll get rid of the video id part and now we have two distinct pieces of the link and what we can basically do is just turn both of these into variables so we'll say var uh we can give the variables whatever we name we want we'll just do var a it doesn't really matter what we call these and we'll say equals and surround them in single quotes and we can do the same thing with var b equals slash and slash and then if we just wanted to sort of test this really quickly uh what we could do is we could just say echo out var a uh, and immediately follow that with var b and then if we want to exit and run the thumb script you can see it's basically just going to print out this youtube link it's not very useful for us now because it doesn't have any information but we can fix that by just popping right back in here and creating a third variable uh, i'm going to jam it right in between these two and uh, we'll call it let's see id for the video id and then all we'll have to do is right up top we can go ahead and well let's just say read id and what this is going to do is it's going to take an input on the command line and spit it out right here in between so you can probably imagine here if i go ahead and let's grab a different thumbnail link and when i run the thumb command it's going to then sit here and wait for an input i'll give it to it and you can see now it spits out a full url and if i go ahead and click on that you can see it opened up that video's thumbnail immediately ready to go. Now that's pretty handy already, but I think we can make it just a little bit better. So I'm gonna go back into the thumb script and essentially what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to have where this is echoing out this link, I'm gonna have it just go ahead and drop it into our clipboard. And since we went ahead and installed xclip, we can just pipe this entire bit here, echo var a id and var b, which is basically just putting together that link, that URL for us. And we'll go ahead and pipe it through X clip dash select clipboard and this is really cool this is the cool part now when we go ahead and exit i'll grab a different video id here and i'll go ahead and open up firefox here in a different browser and what i'll do is i'll run that thumb script it's going to ask for an input i'm going to paste in the video id and without doing anything else i'm just going to come up here paste whatever is in my clipboard and we're ready to go. All right, and then I know I said I didn't want it to actually download, but what the heck, maybe let's just have it go ahead and download anyways. So let's say before we echo out anything, what we could have it do is let's do wget, we'll basically just copy that echo command is what we could do. So we'll delete that, replace echo with wget, uh, knock the x clip off the end, and Let's see, let's give this a shot. So now when I run the script, let's get another uh, video ID to mess with here. Let's try this whole thing in one action here. So we have a browser ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and let's go into my downloads folder, why the heck not? And let's CD, or sorry, let's go ahead and run that thumb script. It's gonna ask for the video ID. We give it the video ID and you can see a whole lot of output here. If I were to paste or paste the output into a browser, I have the web page with a thumbnail pulled up uh, and now also, if I were to go into my downloads folder, I have that thumbnail automatically downloaded. Perfect. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I think that is going to do. Uh, that's basically what I wanted. Um, pretty easy. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about the uh, downloading the thumbnail. Definitely going to go ahead and maybe we'll just add some comments. It'll be easy to uh, turn that off if I want it to. And putting thumb in clipboard. I don't know. Comments are always good in a script, I feel. Uh, anyways, that is going to be it for this particular video. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And uh, don't forget to come back here tomorrow if you're liking what you're seeing so far. See you in the next one.